Alright, so I just got a visage. That's not what I'm going for, but, you know, whatever, that's cool. Alright, so we actually just got ourselves the farming pet. So that's pretty cool. That is my second um, skilling pet, third pet total. It's a very cool one to get. I've always liked this one. And if you're wondering what my farming level is, 98. I am almost 99, so this was really perfect timing. It kind of just came randomly. I'm I'm testing my microphone. I, I've I've had a lot of complaints and a lot of comments about the popping on my microphone. Um, hopefully, when you're hearing this clip, you're not hearing that. I just don't know. I'm trying to look into. I'm trying to figure out what the problem is. I don't know, but you know, don't think that I'm not trying. All right, so we just got 99 farming. Cool. Let's open up a mystery box because what? Torso. You know what? I actually don't think I have a torso, so that's pretty cool. I'll take that. All right, cool. So this mini game just came out. And I got a rare teak chest. So you can't get the chests from actually uh, participating in the mini game. Really rare. So this is uh, this is pretty hard to get. So I'm pretty stoked to have it. Let me uh, see if I have a key. And we do. So let's open this thing up. And DH helm. Rip teak chest from the uh, the the tier four chest, if you want to call it that. Uh, awesome. I don't know if I have a key. I'm assuming I do. I'll definitely try to buy one if I don't. Uh, that's cool. The odds of, from the actual thing are 1 in 2,500, I believe is what I set it to. I'm still messing around with rates. That's kind of why I'm doing this right now. I also got this dude, it's a Shy Cloud, who's, um, I guess, helping me test the rates. And I'm going to try to figure out what changes I need to be made. So far, I'm thinking that the points in the shop need to be lowered. Um, if you remember, I started off like 50 or something like that, so from 50 to 85... We've only gotten 3k points, and that's not even enough to buy a oak chest one. So, thinking about lowering the things in these shops. But I'm gonna mess around with it and see how many 99, and I'll make some changes there because it, it seems like you're probably more likely to just get one randomly through luck than you are through grinding, and that's kind of dumb. All right, we have three, nice. So here we go. Hopefully, it's something good. Zamrock God Sword. Ah, meh. I guess when this invention comes out, that'll probably be useful. That's cool, either way. Nice, just got a anchor. So that's cool, that's the rarest thing you can get from this thing. It's pretty badass. I'm pretty confident that that's the only one in game. I don't know that anybody else has one. Alright, so I just got a uh, uncut onyx from my crystal chest. You see that right there in my chat. So I'm about to go make it into Fury. I actually have 99 crafting for a while now, I just haven't felt like making one, or going for the onyx, but uh, we got one now, so cool. Uh, so Matt uh, just hooked me up with a tentacle. So we have a tent whip now, that's awesome. And they, it doesn't degrade, I think it has a check option, but it won't do anything, it doesn't degrade, so. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't really like taking donations, but uh, he's Matt, and uh, as you see, he's currently rocking a uh, tent whip himself, so I'll take it. Alright, so borrowing uh, a lot of pieces from Gritch here. Oh, he just got Ranger Gloves. Nice, man. Nice. And uh, now we have a full gill lid for this clue, so we'll uh, uh, shrug. Oh, I think I understand where he's at. Uh, oh, no, no, no. That was the right spot. Okay, cool. Master Casket, our first one. Bandos Dehyde, I'll take that. Uh, not as amazing, but I'm, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely happy to get it. Alright, so I actually just got a magic chest. This is my second one from 50 to 98 thieving, almost 99. I, um, like I said, the rate is 1 in 2,500. So, you expect to get about 2. I think just for this reason, it might be worth it to not change prices. Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Well, let, me, uh, let me open this thing up. I'm pretty sure I have keys. I should organize my keys. Do I not have a key? There it is. Go. Cool. All right. Boom. Ah, armadillo helmet. Eh, I guess <laughs> I guess it's better than my helmet needs not. All right. So uh, with this click, should be 99 mining. Boom, Mr. Box. Uh, borrowing the pick from somebody. And lumberjack boots. <laughs> That's actually the first the skilling off the piece I got. I think they're uncommons. I'm not sure. Just trading this uh, uncut onyx for armadillo chain skirt. It's not really an even trade. I don't know if he's hooking me up because it's an extra. Uh, I think because I'm the owner of the server, people sort of give me like good deals. 
But uh, there's nothing I can really do about that. But uh, Armadale Chain Scare, not bad. Right, so I have a master clue. Luckily, I got the one that's uh, shrugging the donator zone while uh, wearing Phil Gilded. So we can do this. Borrowed it from. from uh, borrowed the legs from Matt. But I actually have the other three pieces myself. Uh, second master clue. Uh, yeah, it's not bad, I guess. It's not bad. Is where is this bitch? I am 371 was the kill count. I know that that's not a high kill count. It just feels like I've been here forever. So uh, yeah, that's awesome. It's not even my favorite pet. It's just I've been here for a while. I've been here for what feels like a while. 371 kill count. There's another pet. I went for this one just because it was AFK, so it made sense to do that. Now I don't think I have any AFK pets left. Left so. It's gonna get a little harder. Doing this trade with uh, Jer 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 I don't. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I'm but totally butchering that name. Uh, ZGS for Zena. Awesome, thanks. And then with that, I believe we can just plop it on, right? Yeah, Amulet of Torture. Nice. That's cool. That is my first Zenai piece. So that's one of the things I missed about Dark Asylum is I never played Dark Asylum. I mean, I did have a legit account and I accomplished a couple things out of whatnot, but. Uh, was always uh, was always uh, sad that I never got Zenite jewelry, and uh, there's my piece, so that's awesome. All right, so I just bought another thing from, uh, from my main man here. I'm not even gonna try to butcher his name again. Uh, paid 10 mil for this crystal, and uh, pop Colonel boots look super fresh. I need to get some of them primordials. All right, Mather, uh, let me borrow his Bandos coif. He's probably like the only person with a Bandos coif. Um, so let's uh, let's uh, open up this master clue that we got. Ooh, Ranger Gloves. I got Ranger Gloves and Holy Wrap. Holy Wrap snub. That's a really good clue right there. Those Ranger Gloves, they don't have stats at the moment, but I'm pretty sure they're like the better Ranger Gloves you can get. That's awesome. And then the Holy Wraps, um, I don't know that those will ever be useful, but uh, they're definitely cool. All right, so I just opened up some Crystal Keys, and I actually got a Teak Chest 4, and if you guys know me, you know that that's my favorite chest. So we don't have any keys because that is my favorite chest. I uh, only buy two, one for placeholder and one for, uh, uh dang. All right, um, something good, please? Ah. Oh, all right, so there's just a massive update list that came out, tons of stuff, and I'm sure my next handful of clips will be me talking about that stuff. Mystery boxes, uh, I could buy more because I have these Slayer points, but I'm sort of waiting before I spend these. Uh, if you're wondering, I got them. I just kept getting the same task and over and over and again, and uh, slowly racked them up. But uh, let's uh, let's do this. So far, nothing too fancy. <laughs> Two torsos and a barrel's gloves. Wow. Uh, I assure you, there are new. This is very unlucky. Some magic logs. Thousand Zora skills. That's new. Seventy-five mithril bars. That's new. Amazing. Another mithril bars. You know, what? I'm not ninety-nine smithing. Some mithril bars. I'd honestly prefer agility. I'll take that. Gnome goggles. Those are new. Fancy. Uh, let's keep going. Ooh, a T or chest two. I thought that was T at first. Ah, hook okay, chest two. I'll take that. Maybe one of these keys in my inventory is gonna be able to. Uh, keys. Okay, so nothing to make. Uh, that's unfortunate. The rates and getting anything like, I will actually have the two on me. Let's do it. Torag legs. So I did remove barrels. If you didn't realize that, and the fact that I didn't get any. Uh, seven more. Barrels is also better now, so if you remember playing the server and Barrels was crappy for you, then back oak price chest. Nice. Suits. And, uh, alright, so nothing fancy. That's unfortunate. In my testings, I actually got some rare drops, but uh, of course that's always, always, always how it goes. When I'm spawning stuff, I get lucky, and when I'm not, I don't. I don't know if I want to spend the points to get these. Do I even have trivia points? I might not. I can get one from trivia, and then, uh, Slayer point the next one just so you guys have something to look at. Uh, two. Gutton's Helm and Zamrock Coif. Maybe if that was Bad Nose Coif, that'd be nice. Alright, cool. Alright, so with that, um, you just saw those mystery boxes. You obviously get donated points from mystery boxes. We could buy ourselves a bond. Um, now I'm going to show you something that's kind of broken, but people can do it. It's At, at the time I'm d making this clip, obviously you can do it. I don't know if I'm going to change it or not. Redeem a bond, you get points back. So then you you do lose 100 points, you get 500 back. You can just keep doing this until you uh, run out of points. And you're wondering, why would anybody want to do that? Well, you can get your donator rank up. Uh, one more and I am 
Oh, wow, that's perfect. I had just enough to get the last one I needed. Or maybe I wasn't looking at the right number. But there we go. There is now, uh, I'm now a super donator. So that's cool. Um, I'm probably going to change the item in this. I'm probably going to make it like a, just like a donator ticket and it just is about status. The reason the bond is in here is so people who can't donate can still get membership. Basically, if you do what I was just doing with, with the mystery boxes. Um, but the fact that you get points back kind of makes it a little cheaty. You can essentially get the highest rank possible. But hopefully by the time you're watching this, uh, I've changed it. If not, go for it. Have it. All right, so I just got a jar of darkness. Not bad. Not really useful for anything. Much would have much rather had the pet or the new dark claw. Let me uh, show you what all I'm talking about. The uh, pet is added and the dark claw is added. So would have rather. All right, so if you look in my uh, chat here, we, we finished my 12th master clue. Nothing too fancy from it, but I did get all Gothic's pages. And if you were wondering, that does work. Now I have the Book of Balance. Um, not good or anything, but it is going to be for my series, so that I have that out of the way. Alright, so I just opened up this Master Clue, and uh, you can't tell me that's not a cool reward. So we got a Zamrock Page, a Zamrock Coif, Sarah Page, Sarah Coif, Guthix Page, Guthix Coif. You can't tell me that that's not cool. Attack Experience, cool. Um, range is, you know, kind of, if you play the server, you know range is, is way more accurate, so most people range everything everywhere, but, uh, figured since I'm just kind of chilling while I do other things, I uh, meleeed, so we got 200 mil attack experience, you can see that I'm, you know, pretty far off on the other ones, but we'll work on defense now, and, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's really part of my series to get 200 mil alls, I don't really know if that counts, but, you know, if, if I am going for it, I've got one of them out of the way. Just got a Dark Claw, that's very cool because that is the uh, the Purple Slayer home, so I'm pretty stoked about that. I actually can't remember if I made it a way to, to, to revert your helmet. I don't think I did, so I'm going to have to get another Slayer home. But uh, you know what, that probably would be a completionist thing anyways, to have all four Slayer homes. So, there we go. I don't know if I showed this or not, but I did get a Torture Ornament Kit from a Clue Scroll. So let's, uh, let's use that right now. And, uh, yeah, that is cool looking. Let's, uh, let's get a zoom in. I think it's like a skull, like one of those, those monkeys, the skull for it. Cool. It's now possible to get a Bloodhound pet from any clue. Um, obviously the higher tier of the clue, the more likely it is to provide said pet. Um, it's still pretty rare, but, um, I felt like it made more sense. This is kind of one of those gray areas where I don't know if I'm doing the change because it makes sense like I, I don't know or if, if, or if I'm doing it because it uh, will help my series or will help me it's one of those things where I always try to get like other people's opinions just to see if it's something worth doing and uh, people thought that this would uh, this would be fine so uh, if you think it might be you know one of those quote unquote gray areas let me know what you think um, because if you really think about it if I wanted to cheat I could cheat no one could stop me I own the server I'm doing this series for myself, just for fun, you know. There's, n I'm not really trying to like, you know, compete in the high scores or anything. I mean, obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do that, but I'm not going to take it seriously. And I'm sure most people will consider me, you know, will uh, consider me chilling. I, I mean, I know one thing that is kind of, uh, ad I wouldn't say annoying because it's, a, it's a good thing. It's just. Uh, something you always have to pay attention for. A lot of people will either give me free items or just give me really good deals because, you know, I'm the owner of the server. And I, I'd really appreciate it if you guys didn't do that. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of annoying. Um, and it feels cheap whenever it happens. So, um, if you ever sell me something, just give me the, your honest prices. I don't want anything for free. I think it really, um, it doesn't really, I mean, it just, it just makes the series a little less, uh, Interesting if I get a lot of things for free. Uh, that's a very good clue. It didn't happen in this update, uh, but in the next update, you're going to be able to turn all the items into sets. So I might do something with my series um, that requires me to get all the sets. Dragon Full Home Ornament Kit, that's cool. Uh, Mithril Dragons now drop them. There was a glitch with that. Uh, what is this one? Square Shield? Okay. Uh... Yeah. Hey, Fury one of my kid. Nice. I actually <laughs> That's 
That's awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep those. I feel like those will probably, probably they'll be trade bait. I don't need them. I have. I just like I just got torture kit as you saw in my last clip. Still wearing it. Um, but I, th I think that those I could definitely trade those away. Uh, if you're wondering, it is actually possible to get medium items from a hard clue scroll. There has been uh, some debate about this, but it, I can officially confirm that you can get, as you see right there, uh, it's a 1 in 5 chance any of your item will be a um, medium. If you want, um, I can remove this. Um, so I'm going to have a poll. Not, you know, you'll, you'll, honestly, you'll probably see the poll before you even see this. Um, so it's probably pointless to even talk about it, but uh, yeah, I'm willing to change that. All right, so we got all these clues. This is like, <laughs> this is a lot of, a lot of clues. I really hope we can get it. Um, in terms of what the actual odds are, I can't really say. Uh, the the code is just uh, is just. I mean, I I could do the math if I wanted to. I just don't want to. But it's rare. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. As you can see, we've opened up about fifty clues or so without getting it. Wow, that's the only thing about clues. It's hard to open these compared to like Mr. Bass's whatnot. So I do have body. You know, I always love the D hut. I don't mind it. If you're wondering where I got these clues, I've been camping a lot of Ankus while I've been playing other things. Banos Coif is nice. Gilded boots, that's cool. They don't actually apply to the set or anything, but uh, they do look fancy, sure. Okay, keep going. Kind of surprised we didn't get anything too crazy, but you know, it's whatever. Really need to, <laughs> really need to remove some stuff from my bank. Okay, let's keep going. Those bracers are nice. So I was gonna get another set of ancient, in case I lose mine for whatever reason. All right, last five. Dang, no pet. Very curious to see what my kill counts are gonna be when I get this thing. And rip. Did a little duo uh, corp with Matt, and he just got a spectral sigil. So that's pretty cool.